Hello and welcome to the new episode of the Network and Cisco Packet Tracer Tutorials for Beginner. Siawash is here and in today's tutorial I'm going to add some modification on a configuration of our previous NAT overload. If you remember, on previous video we set up the overload NAT on the router 1 to guide our traffic from the VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 to access to the 8.8.8 on our ISP side, outside side of the NAT, and we using the we use the router on a stick method. In today modern network, usually we have an additional component which is the multi-layer switch, and we rarely use the router on a stick. Uh, so in this tutorial, uh, we are going to configure the much more uh, scenario toward the real world environment. This video is really useful for uh, who's previously watched the NAT overload and let's continue our configuration. So first of all we no need this trunk link here and we just add one multi-layer switch. Let's move this side a bit on the right. Nice. Put our multi-layer switch nice here. Let's connect it. Uh, yeah, let's connect slash 24 again to the router g0 slash 1 let's go into the suite in the router side and let's see what we have enabled so show ip interface brief here we go okay we defined previously two sub interfaces for vlan 10 and 20 we no need them anymore go to global configuration show no interface g0 slash 1.10 so first sub interface is gone and second one also gone do show ip interface brief okay now we got only gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 and we can assign the ip address directly over the interface itself so we go to the interface g0 slash 1 set the one ip address Consider as a gateway an exit point from the layer 3 switch to the router, internet router. IP address, let's choose 192.168.1.1 on the router side, the slash 24. Okay, no shot, just make sure, show IP interface brief. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. It's up and ready to go. Let's go to the multi layer switch to configure this. First of all, enable the switch, uh, define the VLAN, still we need the VLAN 10, okay, name IT again, VLAN 20, consider as a previous, name stuff, okay, show VLAN, okay, it's very easy, then we go to the global configuration mode, interface FA0 slash 24, and this is a command which make the switch interface act as a router interface and the command is no switch port which is that this interface fa0 slash 24 is no more considered as a switch interface and is considered as a router interface router interface so we can assign the ip address ip address 192.168.1.2 is the other side of the network and use slash 30 but this is slash 24 for the lab sake is okay no shot let's do the show ip interface brief okay as you can see we assign one ip address directly to the router interface on the switch and we will be able to ping the router internet router dot one dot one okay perfect it directly works we need to enable the routing globally on a switch you can remember the command which is ip routing so now ip routing is enabled let's connect the interface fa0 slash 23 still is a switch interface switch port trunk encapsulation is a dot one q if you remember I'll explain that the cisco switches can uh, support both dot one q the standard of the vlan language and uh, cisco proprietary isl so dot one q is there so we can put the switch port mode trunk and ready to go so let's close it document 
switch properly, define 23 to this guy, which we previously defined this as a one trunk. So we got a one trunk here, and here is 192.168.1 slash 24. We got dot two, and we got dot one. This is dot one. Okay, this is dot two, and this is a segment between them. Okay, let's move these guys a bit to the right. Okay, nice. Oops, very nice. Okay, yeah. This is very clean. Documentation is very important. So, okay, let's try and see how it is going to work. Let's test on this PC. In the gateway 192.168. Okay, so this time is changed. So totally forget the config. We go to the multi layer switch and create our uh, interface VLANs. Go to global configuration mode, interface VLAN 10, which act as a gateway for the VLAN 10 IP address 192.168.10.1 instead of router in previous. Scenario we have a gateway on a multi layer switch and interface VLAN 20 IP address is 192.168.20.1 slash 24 or 255.255.255.0. Slash 24 Show IP interface brief. Take a close look. Okay, here we go. We got fast Ethernet 0 slash 23. Trunk, go to the layer 2 switch, pass Ethernet 0 slash 24, our routed port on the switch, go to the Internet router, and we have a VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 interface which act as a gateway for the different VLANs. So it's time now I can test it. IP config, nothing you change from the previous video. Ping 192.168.10.1, I can ping outside but still unable to ping the word of the internet. So destination host unreachable. The reason of that is this router doesn't have any idea about the VLAN 10 segment and VLAN 20 segment. Let's take a look at the routing table of this router. Show IP route. You can see we got the direct link 175.10.0 which is our internet side we have our internal side 192.168.1.0 and we have a static route to outside and when I use the show access list if you remember we created one access list called NATLAN and we want to if the traffic from the VLAN 10 is coming and if traffic from the VLAN 20 is coming, add it to the NAT table. This router doesn't have any idea. So to solve this, we have to add those segments to the routing table of this router. In this scenario, we're using the static routing to adding the those segment to the routing table. So go to the global configuration mode, IP route 192.168.10.0. 255.255.255. The point is 192.168.1.2, which is our multi layer switch. Take a look. Here we go IP route, what destination, and where I have to take a look at. So we're using the upper key and do the same thing for the VLAN 20. Okay, here we go. Both segments are manually added and do show IP route this time I expect that to see those static routes as you can see SS add those two interfaces and so now this router understand the traffic from the VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 and can add that to the NAT table so it's time for test one more thing I think forget to config let's do the show run and see do we add the inside part in the interface gigabit 0 slash 1 or not which is clearly we can see still didn't mention that this side of the router is a inside 
traffic. So I go to the global configuration mode, interface G0 slash 1, and IP NAT inside. This time, I can expect that my laptop able to ping the outside world. So still unable to do that. Interesting. So where the problem is may relay. Let's troubleshoot this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Show IP route here. Okay, I got all this information. And this is a problem. Should be here. This guy don't have the default route yet. The traffic is reached from the laptop or the PC. Go to here. But they want to go to the 8.8.8. .8 they take a look at the default gateway, which is the multi-layer switch. But the next hop for the multi-layer switch is not defined yet. And seeing the IP route table clearly show we don't have the exit point from this switch. So we need to add the IP route 0.0.0.0.0.0 to the next hop, which is 192.168.1.1 which is our internet route show IP route this time zoom it okay we add the static route here and here we have a static route which is point to the outside so now if the traffic from the laptop on a 192.168.10.10 want to go out to 8.8.8.8 it will take a look at the gateway and the gateway is point back to the internet router now it's finally time to get some reply from the outside world and see does it work or not. So request timeout and reply from that segment. Let's test here from the desktop on the staff segment. Ping 8.8.8.8 .8 and clearly we can ping it. Let's trace route and see. Trace. Trace. Uh, 8.8.8.8 okay here you can see trace route 8.8.8.8 first go to the gateway which is located on a multi-layer switch then go to the router internet router on the edge and finally reach to the destination 8.8.8.8 you can see you can compare here on this command tracer 8.8.8.8 and here we go we got three hope to go out in this small scenario first gateway on the multi-layer switch then internet edge router and finally the destination so this scenario is very common scenario in the modern network as you can see you can easily expand your VLAN for different departments and in next video I'm going to record a video about the static route we're going at the DMZ on this router maybe and we can publish the website from the outside world. I hope this video is helpful and uh, add some knowledge to your previous knowledge. If you find this video informative, please subscribe, share among your friends and like our video. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon.